Hello and welcome back to another Coastal Rail video. I am your host, Coastal Rail, and we are on the wonderful Great Western Railway at London Paddington Platform 3. And today we are going to be driving a Class 43 HST. So, we'll unlock left because I've forgotten to do that. And we're going to switch on the engine because I turned it off to think. So, let's boost that in. Oh, I tell you, I'm going to miss that when these go. If anybody doesn't know what a Class 43 HST is, it's one of these. Mostly seen in Great Western Railway livery, LNER livery, I don't know whether cross country had any, but I know East Coast had some. Some. But most of them were 89s or 91s. So we'll go ahead and lock the left doors. And we'll uh, just get a reverse and forward. And we'll go on our favourite camera angle. Yes, I set it up this time. Oh, yeah. Uh, of course, we have to uh, release the brake to run in. My fault. You thought I'd be prepped for this. Well, it would help if I uh, set the DRA, wouldn't it? All right. Third time's a charm. I'll just get a camera nicely sorted there. There we go, we got power. So we will not be stopping at any stations apart from Reading because uh, we are essentially in rush hour. First rush hour of the day, we are getting passengers from London Paddington to Reading. Well, to be fair, well, to be fair, we are one B seventeen London Paddington to Cardiff Central. Cardiff. Oh, I see. We have other camera angles set, so the journey should be really nice. Especially this uh, rear boom camera of the nose of the HST. And then, of course, we've got the free camera, but in order to have that... There we go. Oops, sorry. I'm kind of used to train sim world 2, so... It's been a while since I've been on train sim world 2020. I do have some safety systems in as well, so you'll hear them, hopefully. Don't worry, I did manage to uh, place the tail lights, otherwise uh, that would have been bad. So I aim to make this video at least two parts. That's if we get to Redden on time. <clears throat> on time. I know what I'm like. I am quite terrible at keeping trains on time on Train Simul 2. And Train Simul, so hopefully uh, I'm not carrying that with me today. As we pass the, I do believe, is the Elizabeth line now. I could be mistaken. Camera angle likes to uh, play up a little bit. Especially when I'm trying to drive. Because I'm that close to the engine. 
to avoid being clipped off by lamp posts and other things including hidden walls yeah you get them in train sim world oh that's that's just not made it any quieter unless I've been in the engine room behind me um that's better About the rear camera. Yeah, that looks better. Bye bye, London. Bye bye. We'll probably uh, return in a network turbo, probably. Anybody doesn't know what a network turbo is, it's a class 166 in Great Western Railway livery. It used to be in first Great Western livery, but uh, I imagine there was a nice big fallout from first Great Western and Great Western Railway, so. Uh, I don't know. Was first Great Western when I was little? Another 43 HST, docked in Old Oak Common. Love to see it. It's going to be a sad day when these go. I think they're on their final farewell tour at the moment. Or they're going to be. It's a shame travelled on these trains like loads of times under L and the R. <clears throat> My question would be, what are they going to do with the Class 8 9s and 9 1s? Are they already scrapped or are they already heritage or something like that? I've mostly seen more Azumas than 89s and 91s. So class 800, 801s, 802s, you know. I've seen them mostly. <clears throat> Pardon me. So anybody in the comment section down below, if you've got this far, please do comment down below what your favourite HS1 train is. Because at the moment they're building HS2, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's a class the 43 is the HS1 train. Same with the 89s and the 91s. As we plus... Sorry, not plus. As we pass... Act on mainline... I think it's Acton. Oh, and we do have an Acton Depot aggregates, a class 66 in EWS livery. So that's England, Wales and Scotland. Pretty nice. see the cab checking as well. That's more like it. DSD has been very vocal today. It's like that, hello, I'm here. You know, type of thing. I know, cringeworthy. I won't do that again, hopefully. Doesn't matter where I go, apart from the rear boom camera, it just sounds so loud. I honestly would have thought that Train Simworld would have nerfed the sounds of the Class 43 HST inside the cab, but uh, no, they haven't.
Now, I do believe one of the mastery challenges is to reach 125 in one of these. As you can tell, I haven't done that yet. Okay, okay. Very weird. Wasn't expecting that to happen. Oh, we're going through some bushes. Brace yourself. <laughs> yeah, we'll go to the uh, rear boom camera now. And try and bring that out a little bit more. There we go. <clears throat> now it doesn't... Now it looks less... It looks less of a single carriage train when it was out here. It looks more like a, there's actually more depth to the train. How about we get a nice free camera? That is lovely. Do one more. That's the way to do it. That is just the way to do it. That's how we roll, baby. That's how we roll. Well, that one's not very good either. As we pass through, I do believe that... I mean, Brob, where... We're stealing? I think. My knowledge of the Great Western Railway literally is terrible. I haven't been on here in absolutely ages because uh, ever since ever since I bought the East Coastway route, I've more like enjoyed that instead. But I always like to come back to the uh, Great Western Railway because theoretically, it was the first route that I ever played on Train Sim World about a while ago. I can't remember how long I've actually been playing Train Sim World for. Maybe a year, two years now? I know I played this when Train Sim World 2020 was uh, still in good use and was still played by just about everybody. <clears throat> so maybe a little bit longer. Maybe three years now. I do apologise for my uh, coughing in the background. But that is going to be it for the first part of this video. It's possible that it might go into three parts. So please do stick around for the second part and the third part. If you can hear me better in here. And I will see you all in part two. Hopefully. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a and leave a comment, because uh, comment section's a bit dry at the moment for this channel. I would not mind hearing what your thoughts and what you think about the Great Western Express and other things like that. So, from me, it's bye-bye from part one.